uh, Opus Nathan violin, violin working on for Nathan. An acoustical makeover and uh, repositioned the fingerboard uh, down about a quarter of an inch and so I had to uh, adjust the angle here on the neck. You know, because I moved it down, it was a little wider, so I had to scrape it down and make this joint. And so, uh, even though I tuned the fingerboard by itself, now we have the above, below, so we just have the upper part tuned. But now, because we narrowed it this way, when we scrape the bottom here, that raised the tone of this top. So we're going to do... In here, it's kind of it's about the highest here. I'm using this um, scraper shaped like the fingerboard here, so we're just going to scrape the high tone. That sounds high, so we'll look at that. And it may not be high, it may not be the same all the way across, so we're just going to work on the highest areas first. We'll continually go back to our 176 frequency, which is going to be the same as the top plate here. A transition to smooth. And the reason we want the fingerboard tone to be the same all over is so that no matter where you put your finger down, the strings interacting with the same frequency as the uh, string bar on the tailpiece and as the nut and it will be match the top plate. You get the idea though. So we're just comparing to our reference that you can make and the plans are on the website there. And just on this eastern side there's a little high area here. Whether it's too high or too low compared to what we want it will affect the power in the tone. So we'll just keep working back and forth until until we get it even all over. And we'll kind of polish it probably with a silk uh, cloth rubbing it back and forth. Gold. So if it's that's above, it sounds above, below, that sounds below. Now the overtones will change as you go up. And we get the idea. 